Okay, guys, I'm backstage here with Kana Franta. Kana, so I wanted to ask you, do you remember that first moment, like you putting up your first YouTube video? Like, how was that feeling? I was just like in my bedroom at night, so I don't remember if I really felt anything, but it was just probably nerves with anything, because if someone found it that I didn't want to find it, I think it would be like terrifying. Because I was putting it up on YouTube, like, unknowingly for no one to see, but then everyone saw it, so yay, cool. <laughs> Who do you think inspired you the most to like put up that first YouTube video? It was like vloggers like Shane Dawson or I Justine or Brittany Louise Taylor that totally inspired me to like make my first YouTube video. Who do you think on this Amplify tour, like out of all the YouTubers, like pushes you the most or I don't know, sort of I guess inspires you to like keep going? Uh, I mean, Troy Sivan's content is prime, so <laughs> Troy's. <laughs> Amazing. And what advice do you have for your fans or really for anyone who, you know, wants to start a YouTube channel but, I don't know, maybe doesn't have the guts to or something like that? I think the best advice is if you want to make videos, A, do it because you want to, don't care what anyone else says, and B, make content that you enjoy. Because I think a lot of people try and make content that everyone else is going to enjoy, but if you don't enjoy your own content, then what's the point? And um, that coming out video, has that like changed your life just tremendously? Yeah, it's very freeing. <laughs> it's just like a big message to the world, like everyone knows, you should know, cool, okay, it's over, awesome. And have you had a result of fans coming to you and being like, oh, Connor, you've helped me come out and something like that? Yeah, and I always almost cry because I am a sap for that stuff. <laughs> yeah, they tell me and it's, it's really it's sweet that like I could help them and that's partially why I made the video in general, so. And Connor, what are your plans for the future? Oh, the future. I have, I'm going on a tour right after this for my book. So I get home for two days and then I jump right on another tour and off again. <laughs> How do you feel seeing Tide go up on stage? It takes guts. Like between him and Jai, just like going on stage and doing their thing, I, I can't imagine. Because I go up there and I just wing it and just talk about whatever I want. But they have to like memorize a set and do it right and do it correctly. Otherwise, everyone will know. So they got balls. <laughs> Connor, are you sad Amplify is coming to an end? I am. It's been quick. Like, I feel like we just started, but we're already done. Sad. <laughs> sad. What have you taken out from it? Uh, I was just excited that I could go on a tour with all my friends across a new country. I think that was the best part, was meeting fans that I've never met before. So I'm very happy to have done that. Jai and I were discussing that we should have an Amplify 2.0. Yes. So down, so down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Con. I'm very excited, thank you very much. Time's DJing, he's amazing. So good, I love him. I love him, bye.